Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. Today's video is of one that I feel should help get the conversation started as many large and small companies are pushing or allowing their employees to work from home. And as of a recently, we've had an influx of customers inquiring about going solar because, well, their electric bill has gone up. And this is what got me thinking. If working from home is going to become the norm, then I would expect that employers help cover expenses typically incurred when owning an office building, more specifically the electricity. But before I get too far ahead of myself, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel. We recently hit over 5,000 subscribers as of this video, and it would be awesome if we could help hit 10,000. So go ahead, click that button down below, and of course, hit the little bell icon too. That way, you'll receive notifications on future videos just like this one, because it might just get the conversation started. And of course, if you're someone in our area of Southern California and you're interested in receiving a quote for a solar system or a battery backup system, then go ahead and visit us online by using that link in the description below. Yeah, right down there. And you know, just so you know, we're very competitive with our pricing thanks to our partnerships with some of our manufacturers in the industry like Qcell, Solaria, and LG. We also offer a leading 25-year workmanship warranty. So use that link below to get your hassle-free quote. Now back to the topic at hand, working from home. And if your employer should be paying you more to help cover the cost of working at home. I mean, when you think about it, these are costs they would have incurred with an office space. So it would only make sense that some type of bonus would be allocated to employees working from home. Even if it's a measly $50 a month, that's something. Which leads me to my next point. If your employer is willing to help cover costs of working at home, why not get a solar system with battery backup? To me, that would make you more valuable to the company as an individual with greater uptime. And in the event of a power outage, you would still be able to have internet and use your computer and answer the phones. Just look at a recent study by Bloomberg Energy or Bloom Energy, sorry, showing California power outages from October of 2017 to December of 2019. There were over 50,000 blackouts with over 51 million people impacted, with nearly half of California blackouts occurring between San Diego and Los Angeles, with these figures only going up in 2020. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is if you are someone working from home, you should open the conversation with your employer and see if they will help pay towards a solar system or a solar plus battery backup system or a battery backup system to pair with your existing solar system. If you could just get $50 a month, that would go a long way for any of these systems. Or if it's easier, many may just pay a portion of the total cost of the system. Either way, this is a great look for the company that you work for because they're helping reduce the carbon footprint and ensuring their employees are able to work from home uninterrupted even during power outages. I mean, working from home is likely the future for many of us moving into the future, even after this pandemic has long passed. This was a huge economic and social shift for the country, and it only makes sense that businesses help pay towards the cost attributed towards working at home. Well, that's it for this week's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this topic. Let me know if your employer is already doing something like this or if you plan on talking to your employer about it. And if you are or able to get some compensation, then give us a call or visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote. We would love to have you as a customer and install your solar or storage system. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.